Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about how to calculate the air-fuel ratio. So what we're going to look at is, uh, well, first off, we'll do a little equation. We'll say the air-fuel ratio, call it A over F, is equal to the mass of the air divided by the mass of the fuel. So we're going to talk about a mass-fuel ratio here. You can also do a mole, a mole ratio uh, in terms of when you're dealing with the chemical reactions. So there's going to be another video that talks about how to go from a mass ratio to a mole ratio or a mole ratio to a mass ratio either way. Uh, but so we have the mass of the, of the air over the mass of the fuel, and that's equal to the number of moles of air, which we'll call N, times the molecular weight of air divided by number of moles of fuel times the molecular weight of fuel of the fuel. So if we look at methane, we would have the CH4 plus 2O2 plus 3.76N2. And that's going to go to uh, CO2 plus H2O uh, plus uh, 2 times 3.76N2. Half the time I forget to write the nitrogen, but it is there as well. So, but we're only interested in in the reactants when we're talking about an air-fuel ratio. We're only talking about the left-hand side. So we can write this out. A over F is equal to. If we look at the number of moles for air, we have we have this this two. We have two times. All right. So there's O2. So it's two times 16 is the molecular weight of oxygen. So we have two of those atoms plus. Uh, 3.76 times 2 times 14, because 14 is a molecular weight of nitrogen, there's two of those, divided by the 1 times 12 is a molecular weight of carbon, plus uh, 1 is the molecular weight of hydrogen times 4. four hydrogen. So if we work that out, we get an air-fuel ratio of uh, 17.16 and this is call it grams per gram or kilograms per kilogram or whatever whatever units you want to use but usually you talk about grams per mole if you're going to talk about a molecular weight so uh, that's how you can calculate an air fuel ratio in terms of uh, a mass uh, on, on a mass talking about mass so I hope you found this useful and have a good day